caught a really cool one. They're pretty rare. We don't catch them very often. If anybody knows of an aquarium that would like to have them, we're more than happy to send them to them. We did track down an aquarium that wanted him. There was multiple that reached out. Thank you guys all for reaching out. If there was a way for me to give a calico lobster to every one of you, I would. We packed him up in a cooler, loaded him up in the plane, and we're flying him across the state down to Portland, uh, where the University of New England is going to take him and keep him in their tank at Biddeford. So after getting him settled in, we made our way down the coast. It's a beautiful flight. I love flying down the coast. Lots of lighthouses, lots of lobster boats, lots of fabulous scenery. Uh, we saw a doe and three baby lambs on this little tiny island. That was pretty cool. Here we have Deer Isle Stonington. If you ever make it to Maine, it's a beautiful harbor. And this is Vinyl Haven. Again, another beautiful harbor. After about an hour of flying, we made it to Portland into a new pond that I've never been into, which is always interesting, but everything went smooth. It was a perfect location to drop off the lobster. See how he's doing. He's doing good. So after dropping the lobster off, we took off, made our way back up the coast, and they made their way back to the university, where they were kind enough to send us some videos of them bringing him in to his new home. They said he appears to be doing well. Uh, they also said I'm welcome to come back in and check on him anytime. I usually make it to Portland a few times a year. I'll be sure to give you guys updates on him every time I find myself in Portland. Uh, I also think they were looking for a name for him, so if anyone has suggestions on a name, uh, I'd be happy to forward it along to him. 